right. I'm trying to get my flyers over here. I don't know how well how fast they'll make it. Right now, my best shot is to have Finn take care of this guy. Or, yeah. Okay. Have Dermot run up, attack this guy. Okay, you didn't kill, but it was close. Back out. I think I want to send Ares in. Silver Lance. If not Ares, then I want to send in uh, Shannon with Balmog. Oh, I can't even. Oh, he's asleep. Never mind. Okay. So, who can heal? It's probably gonna have to be Hawk. something. Back out. Hmm. Actually, let's get Lester. Oh, he needs to prepare his bow. Let's get him out of here. I don't want to deal with mages. Back there. I think I could send Leaf up. Okay, wait, what's your movement? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's the best I could do. Or I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I could probably do that. Let's try the light, light brand. Okay, 
count. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's basically what I would have to do if I went that route. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Uh, I think I might be better off. Try this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, nah, you know what? I'm going to keep him here. Equip. Have them wait. Um, if everyone else is just kind of in the way. Uh, I think I'll just keep everyone where they are. I can have, I can have Nana heal someone. Who to heal? Probably just. Right, let's get Finn and Dermont healed. still gonna try to catch up but most likely won't catch up of course I, I can live with that. Okay. Save. I'm gonna make a backup save now before I forget. Just get one get one going right now. Okay. Honestly, Ares is in a good situation. Cause he has good resistance. Okay, so... Whew. 
Who could you get attacked by? Oh, I forgot you had that. I could sell that. Silver Lance. All fire. Okay. 33. 30 damage. Ew. Nope. I'm not. I don't want to risk that. So I can't put Favel right here. He'll just get attacked. I think I need. I just need to keep Ares in the spot he's at. And make sure to heal him up. I need to move Favel out of the way. Let's get you over here. I think maybe my best shot is to... Thirty-four, twenty-one. Yeah. Try to weaken him and then see if Ares can kill him. Perfect. If you back out. Could keep him there. What's your range? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the best you could do. You can't even make it up. Okay, um... Hmm. Ares is in the best spot he could be at right now. Let's just get one of these mages killed off. Couldn't have gotten that crit on the first one, huh? back here. Ares should be fine. Okay, she can't reach just yet. But... She can attack three of them. She goes right here. I think we're good. They're out of range.
If anything, he might have trouble with the Lance Knights, but we'll see. Oh, nope. <laughs> One of the hewers just, just decided to block the path. That benefits me. Oh, you're fine. Knock it off. Hmm. Okay. I did not realize she would take that much damage. 33. Ooh, she's not going to survive another hit. And there it is. Okay. I did not realize she would take that much damage. So, I think she needs to get right here with the Javelin. She'll get attacked by one of them, but we could deal with one. Basically the same strat. I can set you over here. We'll be fine. Okay, that's done. Doesn't matter which one I take out. go. Everyone else can wait. Okay. Now, I think the sage will just block the path.
Yeah, there we go. And he's still gonna put Favel to sleep, which is fine. He's out of range from everyone if as long as someone's still blocking that spot. Really worried about that. And Altina can only take that. That's all she can take. Um. Okay, I think the stream just went bad for a second, but come on. Just making sure. Okay, the stream's still going. Let me just check stuff. Hold on. Okay, still good. Just making sure. Okay. What am I gonna do about this? out of range. If she gets attacked one more time, she's doomed. Um... <sighs> no one has fortified... Oh, no. Those... They might be dead. The only thing I could really do is just put her in range. And see if maybe she'll... Uh... If I put her in range, maybe she'll dodge an attack, but they actually have good accuracy. So powerful, too. I don't know what to do. Those kids might just be dead. A sec. one of them out of here. No, not enough, and you can't hit twice.
Okay, I think Ares needs to... Take this one out. Make sure he's healed up. down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it nine or put you right back here? Which that's fine. Ugh, except for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. guys out of here. You'll only be in range of him, and that's fine. I can live with that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. How much damage do you deal? Thirty? that even if he is gonna get healed okay everyone else is fine we don't need healing I can't send self in. I would let him get the kill, but that ain't gonna work. Okay. The real decision. What do I do? Femina actually has good resistance. 34, 20, so 14 damage, she can take a few hits, she can actually take a few hits. I said 14, right? Come on, just a little bit math. I think she can only take two hits, but... Um... Yeah, she can only take two hits. But... 
She can draw fire from a couple. attack there. I gotta put her in a spot where she can only get attacked by two of them. And this one is actually messing with things. If I put her here, she's going to get attacked by literally all of them. And she won't survive. Too bad I can't check. Oh, she can use stabs now? Man, I wish she had one. Every six avoid. She might not. Okay. Um, I just don't know what to do right now. I need to put her in range of multiple units. And I think because of that, I need to try to set her here. She needs as much avoid as possible. And I need to get Altina over here. I'm okay with that. He's not putting anyone to sleep. So that was a good move to weaken him. Going after Leaf. Leaf won't kill, but it will weaken. Ooh, got a crit. Nice. I need to see this. 40% chance to hit. Good. Good. That's that's what we need. More of that, please. Yeah, that's fine. He's gonna run away. That's that's fine. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that one sh Okay, that one's deciding to go f up there. That's... F I think I can live with that. Okay. Let me take a look up here. If I send Altina to attack this one... Gale Bog. How much damage can... I could kill this one out outright. She can't take another hit, so I can't get her in range. Okay, she is safe. He's gonna go after one of them, so one's probably going to die. Unless... 
decides to go after Femina. Even if I attack twice, it's not enough to kill, but I need to deal some damage to him. Okay. Okay. I can live with that. I need to put her here. Either or worked, but hopefully that'll lure him over to Altina. Or Femina, I'm sorry. He'll probably go after one of the children. If so, one of them's gonna die, but I could probably I think we're I think that's gonna be the best I can do over there. How much damage would I deal? None not enough. Okay. So Let's send Lester over here. We'll do that. Perfect. I'm gonna need to repair the bow soon, but I also gotta deal with at least these mages. Okay. Where is... Okay, hold on. No one else is falling asleep. That's good. Okay. They're not gonna move. At least not right now. You have four or five. Let's just start sending everyone else up. Okay. Okay, let's hope. No. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay, I kind of figured that would happen. That is too bad. That is really bad. But I think we'll be fine.
Is this the one that's weakened? No, this is the one that's weakened. So we went after the child. I kind of figured that would happen. Not much else I could really do about it. But this last one can be killed by Altina in one hit. That would be good. Okay, something needs to be done about these eyes. Third accuracy no, attack of thirty two, but doesn't have good accuracy. They all they all have meteor. Okay. I think I want to wait one turn to get everyone in range. Just like this. Need healing? Yeah, why not? You stay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Hope he's not in range. Good. What, what turn am I on? Yeah, we're good. We'll hold off. And everyone else is safe. I don't know if I could take out all of them, but we're going to try to get most of them. Let's at least attack this guy.
good. Okay. Uh, you're not in range. Almost out of brave bows. Okay. You're just gonna attack everyone in range. But I don't think he's gonna kill anyone, so... That's fine. I'm going to send him back to the shop so he can sell that tome. You go up. Oh, Finn might die. Actually, Finn is gonna die. Well, we can't have that. If Finn did not miss that one attack, he would have been fine. So it was, I killed that one first. So let's try having Finn attack first. So apparently I don't have good accuracy. There we go. That should be fine. If Arthur were to attack, can he even kill? No, he can't. He would just get hit, and nah, that's not worth it. That works out. <laughs> okay. Actually, 
Uh, yeah, I will we'll send you out. No point, but... Okay, that should be fine. And Finn's at full health, so he'll be good. He'll live, live through this. There we go. Perfect. 28, 29, 22. Oh, why not? Okay. These two need healing, so I'll send them back. Self is going to go save the kids, get a bunch of experience from it. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay, what to do? Probably just wait for everyone to get closer, but... Actually, I don't think Lester's going to be that useful. Yeah, no. So I'm going to have Lester go back and repair his bow. Okay, you can head up, I guess. To do about you. Val Flame. Exalt weapon. That's not good. Gotta fight exalt weapons with exalt weapons, basically. So let's get Mr. Tang going. Yeah, I'll survive. Great. Thanks, Ares. Just one last F you. <laughs> okay, let's ch let's check Arthur. I have a 10% chance of hitting and he's going to kill me in one shot. That's not going to work. Altina, 36% chance to hit. He's going to kill me in one hit. I can't even, nope, that ain't going to work. Dermont, nope. I might need to just send Shannon in. <laughs> Hawk. 
Hawk, could you even do anything? No. <laughs> well, I think that was a waste of a turn. Shannon, what could you do? You have the best chance, but you won't live! You will not live. I think my only shot is Ares. Ugh. That's annoying. That is really annoying. Unless I try to send Favel back up. No, oh, not the arena. What am I doing? Blacksmith. Now I'll send him back. I don't think she could do anything if she wanted to. Oh, she has fortify. That's why. I thought someone did. could honestly try Ares again because he has the best chance and that's my that is my best shot see that that that's better Okay, that's real- that's- that's good. Shannon, how well will you do? Eleven damage. And even if he had- even if he triggers Astra, that's not enough. I just have to give it another turn. Nope. It's like 20 damage. 27 damage, not enough. I think everyone here just needs to wait. Time to send Ares back in. Come on, Arvis. Just get hit. I just gotta continue to weaken him with Ares. 
That's all I can do. If I send Finn in, not only do I have low accuracy, I will only deal one damage. And Shannon's not ready yet. Did I really just drop him back down to the same health? Ugh. Blacksmith. Get everything repaired. Okay. Send you back. Not like Shatini's actually gonna help, but I'm pretty sure I checked Dermont, but I'm checking again. Zero damage. Ah, this is dumb. Aries, you gotta hit him more than once. Finally, he gets a uh, exalt weapon. Grant's Miracle. That is perfect. That is something he desperately needs. I talked to him, but I guess I gotta save the kids separately. Okay. It might be better just to wait for self. <laughs> because he, has an, he also has an exalt weapon. That's progress. If Ares missed all, all of his attacks, he probably would be at full health next round. So I, at that point, I would have just waited for self. I know it's not, but... I, The only reason Ares has a chance is because he has more resistance when he uses Mistletane. That's the only reason. Okay, self. Rescue the kids. Okay, so I think... Arvis gains one extra point of damage than I deal to him with a single hit, so... Because he was at 40 last time, and then after one hit he was at 41.
even with something like Armor Slayer, it wouldn't do me any good. I forgot to check, but... It would be doubled. It would be 50 damage. But I don't deal enough and he's just gonna kill me in one hit anyway, so... Yeah. Oh, thanks for the heal? I guess. He's getting some good level ups, but... Ooh. Grants Miracle. So what do you have? Hold on. It's plus 5 skill, plus 5 defense. So, Tierfane is giving him 10 skill, 10 speed, and 20 resistance. That is very good. He desperately needs resistance. <laughs> and skill and speed help. Oh, uh, well. Hmm. No, I think that's right. Ares, you gotta hit him again. Great. Kind of back to where we were, huh? Alright, Lester, since you're here, how much damage can you deal? Wow! Zero damage. What a shock. Let's get Shannon over here. Because why not? I could use Fortify on Patty, so no. Yeah, I gotta hit him twice just to mitigate that. Let's get that one. Self's getting pretty lucky with these level ups right now. What level are you at now? 18. Saves one kid, he gets to 19. Technically, he can't be saved. Uh, so for him to get one more level, he would have to get the kill for Arvis. And I don't know if that's going to happen. He would have to make it in time. And I don't think that's going to happen. Unless I just keep missing or Pavis just keep procking. Come on, just... I think I'm at a point now where I'm better off waiting for self. Because I need more exalt weapons. I think that's at the point that's the point where I'm at right now. Favel, what can you do? You won't survive. 
What a shock, and you don't even have a good chance of hitting him. What a shock. Ugh. What are you supposed to do if you lost everyone with an exalt weapon? Is self really your only answer? Answer, assuming you you manage to save this guy, because he could potentially die too. I think at this point, I just need to end the turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for self at this point. Yeah, he's already getting health back. Ugh. I'll have Ares go repair stuff. If that one kid didn't die, he would be at level 20 now, but oh well. Okay, Ares, let's go repair Mistletane. Everyone else can just stay where they are. Again, you can't... Okay, well... this point this is what I need to do I'll make a backup save once Ares and self catch back up Wasn't that wasn't much, but what do you do? Okay. Well, Teeny managed to catch up. Not that it matters. That's what I thought. Okay. Everyone's here. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna now make a backup save. Okay. What are we looking at for damage? Five. But I think he can survive the attack, and he has a good chance of hitting him. So I'll send Ares in first.
Now. I'm gonna get head. I'm gonna do a little bit of math here. 70. Nice. 41 damage. I can only take one hit. And he's going to hit me. My best bet is to actually have self wait here. Then he should attack me next turn. It's not much damage, but any chip damage I can do right now is probably what I need. Ugh. Well, he's now level 20. I'm going to set you here. Let's do this. Stay there. Ares goes in. Missile tank. Uh, okay, whatever. Self is level 20. He could class change. But that would be on the other side of the map and there's no way to get him back. So... It's not worth it. Okay. They're off class changing on the next chapter. Oh, come on! I hate Pavis so much. Or is it Pavis? I don't know. Either way, I hate it. Ah, oh, so dumb. I think a heal might be enough. Good. You just wait there and the turn. This is dumb. Okay, I got lucky there. Not back out. Have Ares go in. Missile Titan's just gonna break, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Twenty-six. It's not enough, even if I send... That's twenty-seven.
I already saved. Let's go for it. Let's try it. She did it. 66 hit rate. Ugh. <laughs> Finally. I was thinking of having him try the arena to get a little bit more experience, but I feel like that's just wasting more time. And he would, he, these two would be the only one that would really use it. And he's probably not going to get farther anyway. So I'm just going to move on. Luckily, I already did the arena for uh, last chapter, or last stream, I mean. But that probably just means the beginning of the next chapter, we're just going to do arena stuff. I think this is the last chapter coming up. So, we're all, almost done. So, luckily, self can class change at the beginning of this chapter. He is the only one other than Patty that needs class changing, so... That's... That's doing pretty good. Okay, so, yeah, Julius, uh, Tithulu, those other three, ugh, okay, last chapter. The bosses where they're, they have exalt weapons and they're just sitting on a castle, they are, they are difficult, but not in the fun way. They are just an annoyance because really you have to fight exalt weapons with exalt weapons at, in that case. And just to deal really any damage. And most of the time, all my other units, who are really well-leveled, have no chance of either dealing that much damage to him, if at all, or even living the attack. <laughs> it's one of the things that makes it to where... Uh, it's not fun, I should say. It's not, it's not challenging... It's challenging in the wrong way. 
I think is the best way to describe it. Because let's think about this. If all of my units that had exalt weapons died, and I didn't, I, and I was missing like one or two because uh, I didn't recruit some of them. Actually, I, no, I was just missing one because I didn't recruit the son in the previous chapter before that. Because I killed the father. If all of my other units with exalted weapons died. And the only one that could get an exalt weapon was Self, because you got it that chapter, and he can't die. I mean, he can, but you just get a game over. You can't continue the game without him. I was only dealing, like, five damage. Sure, he was not a promoted unit, but, like... <sighs> that would... I don't even think I could even beat him if it was just self. Although, in that scenario, let's say everyone else was dead and self got to level 20 the same way I got it now. I doubt that would happen, but let's just say that. I would have to warp him back to the main castle to class change and then send him all the way back just to see if he can even deal more damage to him. It's not really fun. And I don't know how you would fix that. You know, I, yeah, I just realized that now that they were talking about Dragonkin, there is no recruitable unit that's a, uh, what is it, Manikette? Manikette? Which is interesting. Or not even just a Manikette, just someone who can transform into some sort of creature. Was the first game had Tiki. Same thing with three. I forget. Did did Gaiden have a recruitable unit that was a dragon or some other uh, transforming creature? Not creature, whatever. But because I don't, I can't think of any. So first, I'm gonna make a save. Right here. Okay. So we got those guys there. Oh no, this map is huge! <laughs> Just trying to get a feel for this. Is that like the only vill- are those the only villages? Wait, what? What's that spot right there? Sands Road- oh, is it a road tile? Is that- There is one sand tile there. That just looks strange on the map, but okay. Interesting. Okay, and oh, we got those guys. So these two are the only villages. I can easily send Femina over there. Although I would have to deal with this.
Well, let's start arena. Finally has a horse. Can I save after that? Oh, okay, because I technically haven't made a move yet. Good. So let me just take a look. What do we have? I don't think anyone can use these. Well, someone can use Thoron, but I don't think anyone can use the other stuff. Iron Blade. Did anything get added here? I don't think so. Maybe some... No? I don't think anything got added. Okay, we'll... I'll repair stuff later. Arena grinding, yay! Self would have been more useful sooner. Same thing with Leaf, but it's very difficult to get ground units to level up. And sometimes when you give them the opportunity, they sometimes just can't get the kill. Or it's too risky. Gonna spend the time, the rest of the time on the arena, and then we'll actually start the next chap, uh, this chapter, on a different stream. Oh come on! I really hate that it procs that often. Here we go. Like, Shannon is a very good ground unit, but the only, one of the only reasons that make him really good is that he has a uh, Balmog. And that, because it gives him a lot of speed. That makes him super useful. If he didn't have that, he probably wouldn't be that great. I mean, he'd probably be good, don't get me wrong, but... Balmog is what makes him a good unit. Actually, hold on. I am going to repair. And go back in.
Okay. Might as well just get that repaired. Now I want to check something. Ah, because I haven't made a move, I can still save. The brave, so the brave sword is still useful for now. After a certain point, I'm going to have to swap to Tearfing. I think he'll make it with the Grave Sword. There we go, yeah. Lock resist. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. With just the brave sword, and then I think after this it has to be the it has to be Tearfing. Yeah, I need Tearfing. Oh, he only deals one damage. That's hilarious. The arena stuff can get a little bit dull. It's weird that the last one has the Earth Sword. I mean, I get it for healing, but it's only okay. Maybe because this is the final one, they wanted to make it slightly easier to gain some experience? I don't even know if that's right, but... Grave Sword... I could literally sell these two, or the, or just one of them. You know what? I think I'm gonna do just that. Which one? Okay, so that ninety-eight hundred twelve. Honestly, I don't need e either of them. I'm gonna be using Brave Sword the entire time. Slim Sword just in case, and then Tear Thing if I absolutely need to. Or if I need the extra power. Well, I could use Lances. Well, I want to check. Okay. I'll give him a Slim Lance just to have it. 
He probably won't use it, but, you know, it's just a have. Okay. It would have been very nice to get Self and Leaf and some other ground units class change sooner before this late in the game, but let's be honest, it's very hard to actually level them up or be like, I could take five turns to get my ground units over, or I can spend two turns getting my horse units over there, and they could get the experience. That's why I think genealogy is a great proof of concept in terms of, like, this map design. It just needs another attempt at it to fine-tune uh, the small issues. Great axe. Let's uh, go with the iron sword. He is only dealing two damage. Unless he crits. Yeah. I would love another attempt at this giant, giant map style of Fire Emblem. Okay. Armor Slayer. I don't know if he's going to do good, but we'll try. Okay, it is dumb that he got hit all those times by, like, a 30% accuracy, but, like, freaking Pavis, man. I, I hate it so much. Wait, hold on. Since I sold those two swords... Okay, let's give you the one with more accuracy, because you struggle more with accuracy. And it is more powerful than what you have. Since this is probably his best weapon to use, probably can't swap it to anything else. That's the most he can do. Wasn't that much. I'll let you buy the silver blade. Okay. 
So the silver blade is just the steel blade, but better. Oh, come on. So dumb. That's a good level up. Well, that's it for her. She probably would have won if she didn't miss. I think the next time I play this game, it'll most likely be on my own, I probably won't stream it, but I'll probably try to play more optimally in terms of like uh, character pairings, because <laughs> they are definitely not optimized. Because with the way my current characters are set up, uh, I can't even use, like, I think eight A-rank tomes in, like, fire or wind. No one can use it. Oh, maybe I should swap to more accuracy. Yeah, that would have been better. Uh, yeah. Probably wouldn't have won, but, you know, it would have been better. Yeah, that's an okay level up. I'm guessing the max level is 40 per character, like normal. It's just so far it's actually been kind of difficult to get someone to level 40. And there we go. Okay, now that the heavy units... How much damage? Okay, that's not bad. Come 
not much to really say. The arena is just kind of dull, and I I don't know what to I don't know what to talk about right now. It's just the arena. Come on! Like what, one more? There we go. Rank 7. So hold on. I'm going to repair the Brave Bow. There we go. How much damage can 20 21 damage if he hits and I'm assuming it's half of that that he gets yep okay there's the there's where this will be annoying Lester you have to hit more than once. <laughs> That's how you're going to have to deal with this. Or just dodge all of his attacks. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it. Nope, he, he, he's not going to make this. He's missing way too often. And then he's just getting his health back. This is dumb. Okay. Okay. That was interesting. It's kind of a oh well, but... I'm pretty sure he's going to be done with that. I, yeah, I gotta get that repaired now. My dog's being weird right now. I don't know what to talk about. Um, I've been playing Persona Five. That's that's fun. I I'm at uh, I beat Okamura, I believe was his name. And I'm just in the in between stuff between his palace and just waiting for the results. What, 70, 75 hours in? That's fun. Been playing Dragon Quest 4 on my phone. Uh, I already beat the game, I'm just doing post game stuff. I 
would l rather have Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6 on Switch than my phone, or even the DS versions, but those DS versions are pretty spendy right now. The phone version is only 10 bucks, so... I'll move on to 5 after I'm done with post game for 4. The main phone game I play is Dissidia Operamia. Right now, I play global, not the Japanese servers. Right now, it's the the Ifrit, uh, not summon boards, but like the I don't know super summon boards. I don't know what I don't remember what else it was called. Just slowly working on that. Hi. Hold on. Want to come up? My dog wants some attention, and I don't blame her. Speaking of Dissidia, uh, I have I'm completely f free to play, and I've been playing for what two-ish years and I already have everyone with uh, everyone has an EX weapon if you know what anyone knows what that means I got everyone their EX weapon 15 15 CP weapon I think everyone has their 35 and EX and though the more newer weapons that I'm worried about that you need to keep an eye out for is the limited and the burst and <laughs> no I don't have all those but I'm glad I got everyone's EX weapon that's while being completely free to play that's nice You're fine. Stop it. I think if she gets hit one more time, Miracle will proc. Come on, hit him! Ah. There's something. Now I think... I think Nana is guaranteed to win. She just needs to hit him. Come on! I hate Pavis so much! If Pavis worked like in the later games where it halved damage, I would be okay with that. But no, it just completely blocks attacks. I hate it. <laughs> and it procs 
so much. Hey, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, stop it. Let's get that repaired. Actually, let's get all the... Stop it. You're fine. Okay, fine. Here, come on. I got a couch. Or, not couch, bed. Oh, wait. I thought maybe she'd get too low on health, but if she gets hit one more time, I think she's dead. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I thought uh, she would uh, drop down to low health, but nope. as well. I thought about like as a potential like random stream I could do is I could stream Dissidia, but I don't have a way to capture what's on my phone. So that's kind of out of the question. And besides, that's more of like a, oh, I could stream on a random day and I like don't put it in like a schedule and it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to grind, you know, just like come and chat sort of thing, but I don't have a way to record that, so. That's kind of, oh, I should have swapped. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. If I was paying attention, she probably would have made, made it through. That's on me. Basically, I because I don't have a capture card, the games that I can stream are basically what I can get on Steam and emulators. Those are basically my options right now. I have a PSP emulator on my laptop, and I transferred my games, my actual games, onto the computer. So, I don't have any extras that I don't have for the PSP, but I have a PSP emulator. NES and Super Nintendo are super easy. I'm pretty sure this laptop can handle N64. Haven't tried, but I'm making a guess there. I haven't tried that. That's something I could look into. Is it any good? And I'm assuming I can use my same uh, login information for like Dissidia for that, right? Oh, 
Oh, duh. I forgot who I was using for a second. And besides, it's not really something, like, I would dedicate streams to. It's more of like, oh, I could stream today because I have nothing to do. Let's do a random stream, but I don't really have a way to tell anyone, so it would literally just be ran random. It's an Andro Android phone emulator. And I'm pretty sure Dissidia is on Android, too. As long as I can transfer my save, I think it can work. Because I wouldn't really want to start over. I have iPhone, by the way, if that makes a, uh, if that makes a difference. I'm pretty sure PlayStation 1 emulators are pretty good, and it's I don't think it's that hard to uh, burn, uh, get the files from the disks onto the laptop, so that might be something I can do. Not sure. Well, I, I guess I could just take a look, but if I can't uh, log into my account, then I'm not going to do it. But those are basically the options I have for recording until I get myself a capture card or something. But how are you doing, hot corn dog? I'm doing good. Oh, you play Heroes. I ha I've played Heroes. Like, I tried booting it up, but it's like, I haven't really played it in a long time to the point where I honestly don't know what I can do. <laughs> it's one of those things where I boot it up, maybe level up some characters just to get them to, like, level 40 because I'm bored. But I also, but it's too, it's been too long to where I'm probably just really far behind and what Everything's currently going on in Heroes. Come on. I hate Pavis so much. Yeah, right now just going to be doing arena stuff for this chapter. At, well, for the beginning of this chapter. That's kind of what I'm working on right now. It's kind of dull, but this game kind of expects you to do it. Going back to em emulators very quick. I know the GameCube ones is good, or Dolphin, and that handles GameCube and Wii. I know that one's pretty good. I don't know if a PlayStation 2 emulator is reliable as of yet. I haven't looked into that. 
but also I think that's getting around the point where a lot of those games are might also be on Steam, so that's some, something to look into. Okay, crit. There we go. What's the team or army? Uh, are you talking about heroes? Um, I'll boot it up. Or are you talking about this game? You want to see my entire team? I'm sorry. I'm kind of confused on what you're uh, trying to ask. Oh, gee. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm on the final chapter. I am missing... I missed out on, like, three units. I missed out on the Dancer, uh, and then it was two chapters prior, there was uh, the father and son that I could have recruited, and I didn't recruit them, because I didn't realize how it completely worked. I'll show off my team here in a sec once Arthur's done here. There we go. Uh, rank six. So, hold on. I'll show up. So, because this is a first playthrough, I wasn't really looking too much into it. So, hold on. Let's, uh... Hold on. Let me go to unit. Uh... I'm just going to slowly scroll down. Those are my characters. And right now I'm just doing arena stuff. Where is Arthur? There you are. But yeah, I missed out on three characters. I didn't really know how to recruit them. The dancer, I did not realize I had to go into the castle with Ares before I seized the castle. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that that was something I had to do. I thought I could just seize the castle and I recruit her. And I guess I wasn't thinking about it after after I seized the castle. And then with the father and son, uh, it, they obviously set it up that he didn't want to fight. I, I <laughs> and that the uh, the son was captured. Have not tried? Do you know, only play the Game Boy ones from Heroes. Oh, okay. So you haven't played this game. I would I would say give this game a try if you can. Uh, I think I'm on round seven. Get these repaired. Um, but like the son was captured and the father did not want to fight. I didn't realize that you had to save the son first to recruit both but at the moment like in my mind i was actually very confused on how i was supposed to recruit him because like he said he didn't want to fight then i get near his army and then he starts attacking me and i was very confused and, and then my mind just kind of went like oh take him out So that's why, and if you kill the father, 
you don't get to recruit the sun, so... Oh, well. Uh, I don't think... Um... Ross and Garcia... Yeah, kind of. Except... Ro uh, except make Ross give an uber... Give him an uber re weapon. Like, one of the... Basically the equivalent of... Uh, so we got exalt weapons. So the equivalent of what uh, Erica and Ephraim get at the end, of, near the end of the game. I don't think he could go further. Let's, let's go with Teeny. I hear the sun was a re was a good unit, but I haven't looked into it. And by the time I was told about it, I was near the end of the chapter, and I wasn't going to restart. But yeah, kind of like Ross and Garcia, except Garcia is an armor unit. And I don't know if he's any good, or in this game, I don't know if the, the character was any good. Wrong oh, button. But I hear the Ross equivalent would have been very good to have. Oh well, what do you do? I will say this, if I wasn't streaming this and I was playing this on my own, I would have totally reset the chapter. So did you play, uh, you, you mentioned that you played the Game Boy once. Have you played all three or just the ones that came out in America? Because we only got two out of the three over here. Playing genealogy, I'm not even... I, I don't like calling it by that name. But yeah. How are you doing? Uh, Kazumozu? Kozumozu? How are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope my stream can at least distract you. Oh, you played all three. I have not played um, Binding Blade. That's the the one with Roy. That's the only one I haven't played out of the three. Yeah, Binding Blade is the one we did not get. Ah, uh, no, Teeny's alive. He's she's fine. This is the arena. You don't die in the arena in this game. Hello, how's it going? Uh, I, uh, uh, did I get all the child characters? No, I missed out on three units in this, in the post time skip. But, uh, Actuaris, I forget how you actually pronounce your name. Did you actually beat the chapter in the stream after? How do I get child characters? Did I? Oh, nice. Good. But I guess uh, I mentioned this already, but just in case, uh, the three characters that I missed out on this uh, set was the dancer, that Ares could have saved, I just didn't know how to re uh, actually recruit her. Then there's the father and son team a few chapters before this. Those are the three that I missed during post time skip. And then pre time skip, I actually missed out on two characters. Uh. I missed out on Ira, which that was just kind of annoying to try to recruit. And then the other character was um, someone from the arena. 
and I did not realize how the arena worked until basically post time skip. So I didn't even mess with the arena. So that's why I didn't recruit that character either. Yep, I missed out on that character. I did not realize Ari needed to Ares needed to go go into the castle before seizing it. Yeah, thank you. Those are the ones that I miss. And I hear Koi Koi Prey, whatever his name is, is good. I'm pretty sure you're the one that told me that. Corporal? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of him, I I was told he has an exalt weapon. What is the weapon? Because I never actually looked it up. And I wasn't going to go reset for him anyway, so... What type of weapon did he have? It's Zeus. So he had a... He had a tome? Oh. Oh, you're talking about this guy. Yeah, and Zeus is dead. It's weird he didn't have a tome. He had, he had a Earth Sword. Okay, Patty. Okay, Patty, let's try. Try to do something. Well, she won. <laughs> This is an eventually she won. <laughs> but she won. You can stop mid battle and swap to another weapon. But would he keep the same HP and would he be asleep? Oh. I'm assuming. I'm gonna assume you're right. Oh, you're right. I did not know that. Thank you. Hey, she was doing one damage. That <laughs> that was something. There we go. I did not know I could swap weapons mid-battle. I gotta repair the sleep edge. Is she better than do? Because they were both about the same to me. Sleep edge. I guess the sleep edge actually makes her better than do. Well, I think that's that's all she can do. I would have to heal her. Oh, uh, uh, what was the secret event? And I'm assuming you mean, uh, Are you literally, are you talking about chapter 10 or chapter 9? This is mainly for levels if I can. Chapter 10, okay. Uh, what did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, actually, it wasn't self. It was uh, Altina that managed to get the kill. And I got lucky there, I guess. But I'm guessing that was the secret event. 
getting self to kill him. Daisy kind of outclasses Patty. Who's Daisy? But <laughs> who's Daisy? Is she like a different uh, thief I could have gotten, depending on who uh, I paired up with? Oh no! What would have happened? What would have happened? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm not resetting. Daisy is a replacement character for Patty. Lars say an Ulster can wield Balmug? I don't have either of those characters. Um, are those two characters the sword units you start in the... Do I want it spoiled? Well, that's the thing. I'm not going to reset to the previous chapter. So either, yeah, like either that or I'm gonna just look it up because if it's very emotional, that it would have been nice to see, but I'm not gonna reset. <laughs> I might just look it up and watch it myself, but The problem is if 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 you backed it up to that fight, the only one that can re reasonably fight him was Ares and kind of self, but self was not class changed just yet. And even with uh, Fulting, he only dealt like five damage each hit. It wasn't much. So if I wanted self to kill, to, to kill him, I have to get really lucky and hope that like Ares or someone didn't kill him sooner. Or I would have to send self all the way back to the main castle to class change and then have him run all the way back. That would have taken longer. Oh, thanks for the follow, uh, Kuzomozu. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thanks for the follow. Just now noticed on my phone. Come on, hit him. There you go. Like, the other characters that could reasonably damage him was Altina and Shannon. But uh, they only dealt like somewhere between 10 to 20 damage. And if they didn't kill, they were going to die. Guaranteed. I got lucky when Altina managed to kill. Oh, no, you're fine. No, stop it, you're fine. My dog wants attention. Stop! Stop it! Almost done with the arena. Yep. Doggo wants attention. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, it deals more damage. I can have her pop on camera for a little bit. Come here. Come here. Come on. On my lap. Come on. Over here. Come on. 
Hi. There we go. Why did they get rid of pain to fix your weapons in later games? I'm assuming it's just to make it a little bit... Well, wait. I'm trying to remember which games had that thing. I know Fates had that where they don't break. And Shadows of Valentia had that. I'm pretty sure the weapon's broke in every other game, right? It was just those two? I'm pretty sure three houses they didn't break. Or they did break. Right. Yeah. Um, with Fates, if I were to guess with Fates, they wanted to try something a little bit different. It was also the next game after Awakening, where Awakening basically revived the franchise. And they, I think they wanted to get rid of the, the idea of breakable weapons, because a lot of people may not just not be used to that idea. That's just my guess, though. But they had a different system in Fates. Where there was a trade-off with using stronger weapons. Yeah. yeah. The only other weapons I know of in other games that didn't break were usually like some of the like the legendary weapons basically. And but those are the only ones I could think of. But I'm pretty sure every other game had weapon uh weapons broke other than those two. And maybe three houses, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure they broke in three houses though. Actually, yeah, they did break. I just now remember repairing and buying other weapons, so yeah. So, I think it was just those two games where weapons uh, didn't break. And that explained Fates. With Shadows of Valentia, I'm pretty sure that was still in normal Gaiden. And because Gaiden was the second game, they wanted to try something different. And, you know, we're talking back at the, in the NES days, so where a lot of sequels are... NES was very experimental in terms of, like, what what works in games and what don't, what doesn't. They were still experimenting. Those are just my thoughts about it, though. Don't know if Leaf's got this. There we go. Leaf match to win. Just a couple more. I am glad I was told how the arena actually worked. Because if I still assumed like it was in, like, pre-time skip, we'd probably still be in one of the... a few chapters back. I mean, well, the arena takes time, so there'd be... Maybe less, if not the same amount of videos, but, or streams. But the trade-off would be a lot of characters are missing levels. It wouldn't be class changed right now. That's the trade-off.
Oh yeah, she only has lances, so. I think it's now time to swap to Gale Ball. Yeah, so during chapter 10, like at the end, I kind of went on a rant on the challenge of dealing with someone that has an exalt weapon on the castle. How it's chap. I, I think it's challenging, but in the wrong ways. <laughs> like, it's not fun challenging, it's annoying challenging. Like, in that case, he had an exalted weapon. And he was on a castle tile. And I was looking through all my units. The only ones that could attack him deal at least some damage and reasonably survive was Ares, and at the moment, it was only Ares with Mistletane, and Mistletane is the only reason he was able to su survive some hits. And they all, and then once uh, Self got uh, his exalted weapon, then he can survive a hit, one hit, but he wasn't class changed just yet. So he wasn't dealing that much damage. So I came up with the example of what if, because every other unit would either deal a small amount of damage, but they would guarantee be dead if they dealt any damage at all. So my example was what if all of your other units that had exalted weapons were dead. And so I already, I, I didn't end up recruiting the, uh, the one guy with the, the kid with the exalted weapon. So I missed out on that. So that's one exalted weapon I was missing. So what if by chance Ares died, Altina died, and Favel died? He wasn't even that much useful anyway. Oh, and Shannon. If they all died and I lost Exalted Weapons, the only one I would have was Self. Because you... And the only reason is you got the weapon during that chapter. If the guy survives, because, like, he was protecting the kids. And I bet those mages that went after them probably would have killed him too and I might have miss might miss out on that if you don't take care of that soon enough I don't know I'm not sure on that but let's say self is the only one with the exalted weapon and in my case for me to stand a chance I would have to take the time to run back class change but the only reason I was able to class change was because rescuing the kids managed to give me enough experience. Although I guess if you have the exalted weapon, that was enough for me to survive a hit, so I could have got experience from the boss. But he was doing so little damage, even though he was surviving, that how are you supposed to win if you lost everyone with an exalted weapon? At that point, are you just supposed to start over either the chapter or just start over the game? Because you lost too many units.
Uh, like, I'm pretty sure if, like, a character died with the exalt weapon, you don't get to keep the exalt weapon. And even if you did, I don't think anyone else, at least on my current team, I don't think anyone else could use it. So, I think at that point, if I was in that situation, either I have to take the time with self, class change him, run him back, and even then, I don't know how well he would do. Or, in that situation, I probably would have just had to start completely over to make sure more units survived. That's like the only thing I could think of. Also, what is the max level for characters in this game? Is it 40? <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, rank 7, hold on. Is level th oh thirties the f oh okay I thought it was forty then I think Finn's just been wasting his time me assuming with the, like with other games that's the thing about this game like everything I knew from playing all the other Fire Emblem games just out the window. <laughs> so I think Finn just wasted his time. And by extension, I wasted your time. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's level 30. Okay, I didn't realize 30 was the max level. So then there's no point in using Ares unless I want money. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to let Ares do the arena so I can get money. <laughs> so I can repair missile tank. Okay, thank you. I think that's the only one where the max goes to 30 as far as I remember. This game just continues to throw me off. Because I remember, like, so I assumed the level cap was 40. I assumed the arenas work the same in every other game. That's not the case. I assumed warp staffs, return staffs worked how they did in other games. No, it just uh, warps you to other castles you have. Uh... What else can I do? Uh, sure. I'm pretty sure there's more to it than just that, but those are the ones I immediately remember. Try it. For Ares, this is just for money.
Come on, hit him. There we go. Oh, other things I assumed were being able to attack twice. Apparently, you need an ability for that. Critting needs needing to be an ability that you needed to have for, to even be able to crit. Those were things that I assumed. Have is blocking all attacks instead of just having the damage. That's another one. That's an important one. Miracle being different than what I thought it was. I thought Miracle was you survive with one HP, but it's... Once you get to danger, your evasion jumps up. That's a change I also don't mind. Come on. Ares is going to lose this just because of Pavis. Finding Blade was the hardest. Interesting. Uh, I know Sacred Stones is super easy. Well, uh, that's that's all I'm doing. Well, <laughs> since I basically finished with the arena stuff and have gone longer, I am ending it here. Anyway, thank you for everyone who showed up. I do these streams. Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Pacific time. If you want to watch the older videos that are not on Twitch, they're on YouTube at, at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. Sacred Stones is really... Yeah. That and also you can level grind in that one. That's another reason why that one's easier. Anyway, have a good day. Take care. Later.